August is National Black Business Month, and we are talking about an important topic this morning, black health care in particular, black female health care. So Dr. Nicole Williams is the founder of the Gynecology Institute of Chicago. So Dr. Williams, nice to have you here. Thanks for having me on, Stacey. Great to be here. Yeah, so you're an OBGYN, obviously, with your own successful practice. What advice do you have to share for aspiring black business owners? First of all, don't ever take no for an answer. When I first started my business, I was given about half of the amount of startup capital as a good friend of mine who is not an African-American female to get started. And once I found that out, I did realize that, yeah, I'm going to have a much harder road to toe, and it's not necessarily going to get any better. But don't take no for an answer. Use whatever resources are there for you, because now we have a lot more resources available. If you're looking at the city of Chicago, there's TIF funding, there's other small business funding. Start looking for those other sources. I went to Chase. I knew no better. But now I know that there are other places, other, other ways to find this funding and the capital that we need to make successful businesses. Absolutely. And as a business owner, too, what have you learned about health care in the African-American community, especially among women? Obviously, a difficult time right now with the pandemic, even tossed on top of that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, many of my patients have unfortunately started to delay care. So they're delaying their breast exams, mammograms, pap smears, routine things that we would normally check into on a regular basis. Unfortunately, I did diagnose um, one patient with a breast cancer, and I also diagnosed a uterine cancer because everybody was delayed. Also, in the African-American community, I'm talking to my patients a lot about making sure they get vaccinated, because as an OB, a lot of times I'm the only person that that patient's ever going to talk to. So it's imp incumbent upon especially African-American physicians, OBGYNs even, to talk about vaccinating because we also don't know that we are dying and suffering at higher rates with COVID than the general population. Absolutely. What a critical message right there, just to get vaccinated and also to make sure you take care of those health appointments that everyone was been putting off during the pandemic. So you have a book, it's coming out in the fall. What really inspired you to write a book? And is there anything in particular that you really want to tell us about about this book? Thank you so much for mentioning it. The book is called This Is How You Vagina, all about your vagina and why you probably shouldn't call it that. I added that subtitle because I want to empower my patients to realize that their anatomy, on the most part, is completely normal. We have otherized portions of the female anatomy for far too long. And it's important for us to recognize that this is a natural part of our well being, a natural part of our lives. And during the pandemic, I'm an English major. We all say we're going to write a book. And so I did. <laughs> well, good. Yeah, you actually did it. You're right. A lot of people were saying that. I need to write this book. How do you think the book is going to help women of color, too? Not just black women, Latinas. Just really go out there and receive the proper health care, because you're such a cheerleader for that. Thanks for saying that, that I'm a cheerleader. I, I like to think that I am. I think the book is going to help women of color because I am a woman of color who has written this book. And as my perspective, my perspective will always be that of a woman of color. So I see things that other physicians, other practitioners may not see. And I include those things. And I am thinking of my patients at all time when I was writing the book. Yeah, any specific topics? I know you mentioned a couple there, or pieces of information that mm -hmm. were inspired by questions that you probably got from patients. I mean, all of us have so many questions as patients, and first of all, having the courage to ask them and talk to your doctor, having these frank conversations. But what are you hearing from patients that maybe pushed you forward? My favorite question from my patients is, am I normal? We are so concerned with comparing ourselves with other people to say, okay, what is, what is normal? And I explained to them, normal is a range. In the book, I actually have a picture of various vulvae by an artist, and he actually created casts. And there's over 400 actual plaster casts, and no two are alike, and they're all 
normal. So that's my biggest question for my patients. And I want to explain to them that on the whole, you're healthy, you are normal. You know what? Great message there, Dr. Williams. Thank you so much for being on our show this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Stacey. Take care. Yeah, take care. Best of luck with your book sales as well. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.